intercept it. Timo 30 run out of bounds to the far side. John Timo with his second interception. Stepping up to make the big play. That's the inspirational story of Washington Husky linebacker John Timu. We always preach to the kids we're recruiting here about the opportunity that University of Washington provides you when you get here. And he's been, we haven't had anybody in our program that sees the opportunity more so than John Timu. And college wasn't the thing in our, you know, our community. Uh, just my surroundings, college was never the topic. So uh, being, being recruited was a big thing for me and my family. John is actually the first in his entire family to go to college. He had scholarship offers from Hawaii, San Jose State, and Oregon. But he chose Washington and hasn't looked back. Timu had an outstanding 2012 season. He started every game, earned honorable mention all Pac-12, and was named a Husky team captain as a sophomore. It's so powerful because any one person can misinterpret it and change the whole meaning of one word. Yeah. Then there is John Timu, the student athlete. John definitely has a really unique um, set of skills. It's been a pleasure to try to figure out what some of those are. And he's, he's had me as an instructor kind of stop to say, um, okay, what are the intelligence of football that make him, uh, are part of the contributing reasons for why he is so intelligent? Social media was a big thing for our... Holly Barker has taught John since his freshman year. It was her words of wisdom in an anthropology class that helped him begin to make big plays off the field. And I asked him, what stereotype are you creating by sitting in the back of the room? And I kind of like, well, I guess it sort of looks like we don't care very much about our education. And I kind of asked him, like, well, do you? And they said, well, yeah, we do. I'm like, well, do something about it. Fast forward to 2013. John is a sophomore, majoring in ethnic studies and anthropology. He's prepping to present at the UW's annual undergraduate research symposium. He's also encouraged to apply for a prestigious academic scholarship, an award no student athlete has ever won. You now I know how to react. I've never won such an award so prestigious, and I, uh, you know, my reaction was just, just up and down. We have two football players today that are taking part in the research symposium for the second time, second consecutive year. It actually took the praise of friends, teachers, and teammates to help him realize his accomplishment. You're not on turf, you know, you don't have your cleats on, your shoulder pads, you know. You, it's not something you do every day. Uh, it's not something people expect us to do every day. So coming out there and, and see fellow students and, and classmates, you know, eyeing us out presenting, it was, it was, uh, it was just shocking and, and very, very scary for us. You'll be down the road one day, you'll be a teacher. I don't know. <laughs> this is stressing <laughs> now, so who knows? One step at a time. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it one step. Let's... <laughs> he's doing it in all phases of life. Couldn't be more proud of him, and he's a, he's a tremendous ambassador for our football program about what a true Husky is, not only on a football field, but in the classroom.